up y'all welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel hey girl hey make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified when i upload a new video and if you're not already sis make sure you're following me on instagram at the hair life and the hair life official so you guys i'm super excited today is the first entrepreneur vlog now this footage is so it's from last year when i had my hot comb pre-orders um, but you currently do not have to wait. They are in stock. All three colors are ready to go, ready to get shipped out. I also do have wax sticks in stock as well. I'll leave all these links down below. And I will also leave several links to things that you guys are going to be seeing me use. They're in my Amazon store and I'll leave that down below as well. So let's get right into it. Okay, y'all. So my audio got messed up. I'm going to do a quick voiceover. Entrepreneur story time. Okay. So pretty much what y'all see me doing is doing a whole lot of hot gluing these boxes together. My boxes came the night before which you guys are watching and my vendor did not send me an instructional video on how to put these together. So shout out to my girl, Ashley. Um, we had the same style of boxes. So she sent me a video of how she was basically hot gluing her boxes together. So I was like, okay, sis, thank you this is what i got to do because i have to get these out so back it on up to the pre-orders you guys this was a lesson learned i will probably never do another pre-order ever again it was a freaking nightmare my vendor initially told me that my processing time was about 15 to 20 business days i'm like okay cool ciao I did not get these hot combs for what, like two months? I felt sick to my stomach. Like I had people waiting for this product. Ha Listen, like I said, lesson learned. Because had I known that they would have been waiting, I literally would have just ordered them and then posted them for stock when I got them is what I do now. I learned my lesson. So long story short, it took me all day, sis. When I say all day, I mean all day putting these boxes together because it was not just my lids. It was also the bottoms of my boxes and the inserts. But I had to do what I had to do because, like I said, I had had people waiting. Um, once I found out about the delay, obviously, I emailed everybody and let them know what was going on. And I gave them the option, the option to cancel their order because I'm just like, listen... Listen, if they want to cancel the order, they can cancel the order because this is much longer than the wait time that I told them. So um, no one ended up canceling their order, which I was super grateful for. Everybody was cool. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to throw in a free wax stick for all of y'all because y'all did not have to, you know, continue to do business with me. So thank you so much. I love all of you guys. So yeah, here is the behind the scenes. Just let y'all watch me <laughs> struggle. How gluing these boxes together. And then like I said, I will definitely post a clip of when my vendor finally sent me the video of how to put them together. And y'all, like I just, it's so much quicker and easy. As soon as I got it, I sent it to Ash. I'm like, sis, drop your hot glue gun. We don't have to do that no more. We're good. Okay, I think I'm done with the list for now. I'm about to just count these up to see how many I have. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys the bottoms. So, two. Okay, so here are the bottom of my boxes. And I think, oh, but these inserts, for some odd reason, they came separate like not in like attached to the box so i have to fold this up once i'm done then i have to glue this down and like align it to that little panel back there and then it'll fit inside of the box like this this will be the area where the core goes and then the hot comb will lay inside of here. So I'm about to do these and again.
don't mind my desk but it's currently 127 hopefully my camera's focus but basically what i'm doing right now is taking the hot cones out of the boxes that they came in i'm checking them all to make sure they have all the stones making sure that they are working how they're supposed to be and then i'm letting them cool on this desk so i just want to show you guys this really quickly um and i'm saving all of like the bubble wrappings that they came in because i'm gonna put those in there i got the lids chilling over here and yeah here's the boxes and this is what they look like yeah so here are the purple hot combs aren't they so pretty i'm so excited you guys oh i can't wait for you guys to get these so yeah here's the purple ones here are the black and yeah i decided i'm getting my nails brand colors today that's yes. it. it's almost two o'clock so these are gonna ship out monday instead of today i was really hoping i could do it today but i'd rather make sure like everything is how it's supposed to be than me shipping them out today you know okay y'all so this was a little bit later as y'all can see i went and got my nails done because i was looking real crusty by the hands and y'all know i don't play that so um here are my boxes let me know how y'all like these i designed these all on my own i literally did the whole layout sent it to my graphic designer with the dimensions i'm like this is what i need and she delivered i will leave um her information down below if anybody is looking for a graphic designer so yeah let me know how y'all like my boxes okay hey y'all so I am basically just figuring out how I want to package these. So I got these air defenders off of Amazon. They came with like this huge, I probably won't even be able to fit it in the frame. It's like this big old thing full of the air defender bubbles. And they got the perforated line. So I'm ripping off four. I'm lining both sides of the box like this. So y'all, I got my nails done yesterday. I'm not really sure how I feel about them. Um, I love them at first, but then like this whole curved tip business, um, it's not me. And on top of that, it took three hours to get these done and I'm not used to that. Like, I mean, Priscilla is so bad doing my nails. Um, and like these curved tips are like grabbing and catching. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep these. Like, I don't know. These might get soaked off. Cause I, like y'all see that? I don't like tips like this. I'm not used. I don't know. I'm not used to it. I mean, she did a good job. It took way, way, way too long. I don't have like three hours to be getting my nails done. Like, how long does it take y'all to get y'all nails done? If you get like long sets and stuff, let me know how long it takes you to get your nails done because my girl Priscilla, she used to be done like an hour, hour 30 max. Like it's never taken her like two hours to do my nails. But please comment down below. I want to know how long it takes y'all to get your nails done. But um, I got the air defenders on both sides like this. And I got the hot combs in here. This one is black. And I put them, they come with this anyway, so I'll just save these because, you know, just extra protection. And then I'll just put the little manual in here like that. Same thing. And this one is also black as well. So that pop the top on it like so. Are you ready to slay the hair like way? Are you? Are you ready? <laughs> And then I got the website on the back. So I'm going to take the box. I'm going to slide her in like this. I honestly feel like I can do, I can probably do like five defenders instead of four. Yeah, I can probably do five. So got that there. So I don't even know if I showed y'all this the other day, but I got new labels. So as you guys can see, these labels are matte these are like glossy um this one already has like the shrink wrap and stuff on it because i made a reels which i probably just pop up on the screen to show y'all this but one is on like white film paper but the only thing is it's a scratch right there already so here are the new ones and as you can see like my ring lights making it glare but um yeah it's like on they're on white film so it's glossy all of them are 
waterproof and everything like that. And then I'll have here's a sheet of old labels. These are matte. Um, they didn't. So for sticker mule, I didn't have the option to pick the paper. Like this is just how they came. Um, but I do like they were able to do the dot, like the line and stuff, like the cut line for me. Whereas on Avery, I did it. So there's like a small little tiny white line. So what I did when I tested these out, I just like cut that bottom off so that white wouldn't be on there because that no, that would have bugged me. It would have bothered me so bad. So I cut it off. And that's what I do with those. So yeah, here are the labels. Like I said, these are printed from Avery. And then these were printed on Sticker Mule. So these are five by five, uh, the length. And I got 5.75 on these. And I like this space. And I like this is stuff that doesn't matter, but I guess I'm just anal like that. But as you guys can see, it has like still a space because I didn't want the labels touching. So it still has a space, but it's not as wide as that. It it literally doesn't matter. Does not matter at all. That's me being anal. So yeah, I just thought I'd point that out. But a yeah. pack of bubble mailers. All of this stuff can be found on my Amazon store, y'all. I will link it down below. I believe these are four by six, but if you click the link, then they will be in there. So I'm gonna take a wax stick, put it inside, just so this will have extra protection as well. I'm just gonna fold this down. Oh, fold it down like that. Wax stick. I'm gonna put this on the side of the hot cone box. I got my thank you cards here, the code on the back. Cause you got to purchase to get the code. But yeah, here are my thank you cards. He's just like throwing the cards and stuff in there. I found these black envelopes. These are also, I think, I think these are Amazon. Um, so yeah, they have a silver trim. I just think it adds a nice little touch. So yeah, for the thank you cards, I'm just gonna put the thank you card and a business card in here. Um, if you get a wig, also like a hair care card will come in here. But the thank you for your purchase. So I'm going to put those in there as well. I'll just put them like that so they know there's multiple cards in here. Yeah, these are the same markers I use for my wigs. I'm going to just take this and write out their name. You know, so it's nice and personalized. Um, so, yeah. This order is for Miss Robin. Put the cards on the top like this. So like when they open it up, they see this and it's like, oh, you know, cute. Ooh, I guess it really doesn't matter because if they open up the other end, then the card will be at the bottom. All right, well, whatever. I thought I was look, trying to be cute, but it really doesn't matter. It's like, it's not moving around in the box. Um, from the air defenders, it just had like it has no room to pretty much move around. So, okay, so then I'm gonna line these up, and then I can check the names and everything. Okay, like that. so I just want to grab the box because I just realized I had, I started showing y'all. Okay, so these are called. Sh I want to say these are the shoe boxes on USPS. I'll make sure and double check and like put a link down below so you guys can purchase or you don't even have to buy them they're free i'm sorry these are free on usps.com you can literally go in there you put in the quantity how many you want they will deliver them to your door free of charge not just these like the those other mailers and stuff that i get i just got a shipment in of these the regular padded bubble mailers uh the window little sleeve thing like yeah, they have a lot of free packaging supplies on there, so definitely utilize that. Who like an addict? Oh, ticket an empty rip. Oh, I'm at the point of six. Oh, regiments was in the six. Oh, I like the side of the pit. Oh, I just got Morty and Rick. Oh, he got me horny and ripped. Oh, like I just walked out the gym and the got it because I took the gym. Give him a job and he gave me a rim. It was too long, so he. All he wanna do is gas me. 
How we end up in the backseat Just trying to get to the bag We on the same page, we the same way Only keep the fam around me So let me know what it's gon' be I don't plan on getting no sleep Why we doing our thing? Moving too fast, candy paint We don't lose our black seats, creme brulee What they gon' say? With the top down, screaming money, anything We up till six in the morning When the sun rise, we on it Who I got five, we post all live Tell me when to go, baby, where we gon' slide Baby, where we gon' Okay, hey y'all, good morning. I'm whispering because the girls are in school. So if you can hear like background noise, that's what that is. But I just want to tell y'all what I'm about to do. So I have my scale here. This is a shipping scale. And you can see I have it on pounds right now, but you can switch the mold. Like you can change the settings and everything on it. So um, I have it on pounds right now because I know these boxes are definitely over a pound. So like the orders with, um, I have a box just with uh, a order with the hot comb and the wax sticks. So I'm gonna measure that out so I know what to enter into Shopify because I do have to enter in uh, the box as a custom package because it's not one there. Um, and then I have an order right here then I'm also gonna measure, uh, this one has like bands. She got, she got bands, the hot comb, um, the wax stick, and I think edge wrap. So this one is probably gonna be, I don't know, it's, it's probably might be even two pounds or more. So um, I just need to make sure I have that accurate so I can print off the shipping labels and I'm gonna show y'all how I do that. Um, so yeah, got it on pounds. So let's measure this and see how much it is. Okay, so yeah, I was right. Um, a little over two pounds. So that's what I'll be answering in for that. And then, and then I have this box. Okay, so then this is all of the, this should be like the same weight for all of the orders with the hot comb and wax stick in them only, nothing else. So this is what I'll be um, interning in for this. And then I'm gonna show y'all how I ship them off. This, so as you guys can see, I have custom box right here, right? So usually, okay, so up here, as you guys can see, like they have a sample box. This is like the standard or whatever. So these two are what I usually use for my orders. So mm -hmm. and then I just added in this custom box. So these are the dimensions for the shoe box. Um, yeah, so we just weighed it out and you know, you can adjust the weight. So if they were only a pound, uh -oh. okay, I'm gonna scroll down so y'all can see. So they have UPS down here. Like they give you a bunch of different shipping options, right? So we're gonna go back up to USPS because that's what I'm using. And I already have like the signature confirmation check box. Um, so without that, with this custom box um, for a pound, as you guys can see, that would be seven dollars and sixteen cents with signature confirmation it would be 986 okay so the what, what was that 1.5 i think it was 1.5 so we need to go put this on 1.5 so now as you guys can see it's 1049 let me go down here so i can show you guys 
Okay, so without without the signature confirmation, it would be $7.79, but I wanna make sure I get signature confirmation with everyone's orders. So um, it's gonna be $10.49 with the signature confirmation, and you can see it's two business days. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna click buy one shipping label, purchase and ship. Now you guys can see uh, the tracking number is right there, but that's gonna be covered up. You guys can see all of the details. You can push void label if something went wrong, print shipping label. Um, and then it also gives you the option to print your packing. So right here, this is extremely important if you have a thermal printer, which I have, I have the Rolo. Um, it will also be linked down in my Amazon store. I highly, highly, highly recommend thermal printers. This isn't something that you need right away, but like once your orders and everything start picking up, I highly recommend this printer. It saves so much time. It does not use ink. Oh, y'all, I love it. Like I love the Rolo. So when I first set this up, I had a hard time figuring out how to change the print format. Um, it wasn't giving me the option at first, but I was able to switch it on my phone. And once I switched, and you set up your Rolo printer, um, it should give you the option like this, how you see change format. So it automatically will be on letter, which is the 8.5 by 11 inch for desktop printers. But for thermal printers, they are four by six. This is also going to be used if you use, well, you know what? No, if you have a regular printer and you have the four by six labels, I think you could probably also do that too. But I'm, I'm only going to speak on what I know about. So if you have um, like a Dymo or a Rolo or any other thermal printer, um, your sheet should be four by six and you want to make sure you have that selected. So I'm just going to click like it's already saved. Okay. So then when you click print shipping label, it's going to take you to another page and our mission is here. All of her information is there. Uh, USPS signature tracking. You're going to go over here, click print. And you also want to make sure that it's on your Rolo printer. That other printer is a printer that is no longer in use. I mean, then you're just going to click print, but I'm not going to do this just yet. I'm going to go ahead and... Okay, so as y'all can see, I have my tabs at the top. And this is the first label. Really, as soon as I click print, just watch my printer. That's how fast it is. So, we're going to go to the next one. And print. Yeah. It's super, super fast, you guys. So now I can just continue to print everything off since it's not going to be continuous. I have to do it myself, but y'all can see how fast it is. So.